Good evening, everybody. CJ here, your local friendly technology addict, and this is the Tech Addict's Attic. Today, I received a package from a widely known international distributorship, and I am going to do an unboxing. And let's see, it says tear it, perforation to open, so we're going to have a pretty easy one today. That perforation right there. I'm also trying to do this without exposing the shipping label, because I really don't like having to, um, you know, black everything out. So that should tell you what we got. I've had this thing in a wish list for some time, and I told the wife to go ahead and buy it, put it on Prime, so we can go ahead and get it. And this is how it comes packaged. You've got your dongle right there. I wonder who came up with that word. You've got a tripod, which uh, coincidentally, yep, sure enough, aside from this part being metal, it is identical to the tripod I'm using to hold the LG I'm recording this with. The LG's uh, screw is plastic. We've got a length of SMA to SMA, looks like RG174. Yep, that's RG174 coax, so we've got a length of that. This is a base of some kind with a tripod. Okay, that's what that is. That's actually a... Okay, that's like a suction cup mount or... Um, that's exactly what that is. That's a suction cup mount. Okay. So that'll mount it on a piece of glass or other smooth surface. And, of course, this is your uh, tripod mount. Or not tripod, but the uh, quarter 20 that goes up in the base of the thing. And this is the base of the thing that your quarter 20 goes into. Nothing else in the box. I'm going to get it out of the way. And that would be your telescopic antennas. Again, with a short length of what looks to be RG174 and a ferret bead uh, with coax wrapped around it. Uh, you got your uh, quarter. Oh, it helps to <laughs> keep it in the camera, right? Um, but you've got uh, RG174. You got your ferret bead around it. Um, this is the part that your quarter 20 screw goes into. And your antennas go in here. So obviously the uh, RG connects to these two antenna, uh, which are female threaded and of course the antennas are male threaded alright so let's uh, bust into this stuff shall we get rid of all of the packaging material so we can actually see what we've got so there's our tripod and like I said this is um, identical except for the quarter 20 uh, bit there being metal it's identical to the tripod that I'm holding this LG with Go ahead and uh, open the ziplock of antennas. Now these are supposed to be pretty darn long antennas. Um, I'd say a little over a meter point one, meter point two. And I already see a problem, a minor problem can see right here it's bent that is a very very minor thing though I'm not not really going to worry too much about that
Got a couple of pieces of uh, rubbery tubing here. I don't know what they're from. I think maybe they used to have fiber optic inside them. I, I really don't know. But I'm going to very gently try to uh, straighten this back out without marring it. It's a little bit better, but it's still clearly damaged. Okay, but it does it does extend and it does collapse. Let me check the other one. So far, so good. Feels just a little bit gritty. And again, we've got another. Uh, well, you know what? I got a tape measure right here. Go ahead and measure. Of course, my tape measure is English. 39 inches. So like I was saying, it looks to be about a meter, point one, maybe a meter, point two. It's a little over a yard. I forget which one's longer between the two. Never really cared. That's the main reason. All right, now let's look at the short ones. Now, the uh, long ones, oh, look at that. Isn't that cute? That's adorable. It's already extended. <laughs> oh my! <laughs> Why bother? <laughs> oh jeez! <laughs> I mean. I get it for uh, you know UHF um, microwave and such, but uh, goodness, that that's that that's just adorable. That's cute. I mean, compared to the other one, ah oh, man, I knew it'd be shorter. I didn't realize that. What a dinky little adorable thing that is. Hey, people, I love technology. But sometimes, you know, I just want to give that to the kids to play with. Like, maybe give it to their their little uh, American Girl dolls so they can have American Girl doll walkie-talkies or something. All right, let's look at this. So the antenna mount, the base, the bracket, whatever we want to call it, uh, we got the bead right there. Oh, look at that. That is a nick in the jacket. Uh, I'm not sure how that got there. I'm not worried about it. The jacket inside appears to be intact. I can see a little bit of a braid. Um, but, you know, stuff happens. As long as it's continuous and not uh, damaged otherwise. Let's see if I can focus this a little closer. So we see we've got a good SMA there. And I'm just going to go ahead and put little dinky sticks on. <laughs> Got rabbit ears. Cute little rabbit ears. Okay, and we will go ahead and thread it into the tripod. We'll make sure that's got a good thread on it. All the way in. Now, I've been using a tripod like this for the LG phone, and honestly, I'm not impressed with it, but it serves its purpose well enough. I'm not that worried about it. Um, it will suffice for what I need. And I do like that if I really wanted to, I could wrap the legs around a pole or something. What I don't like about that is that they're constantly getting bent. Um, I like legs of a tripod to be straight. And when I go to, to pry them out, to stretch them, I don't realize until it's too late that I've put in a curvature to the leg. So then I come up here to the top and, oh, well, it's already out as far as it'll go. So I don't really have a choice but to put a curvature in the leg if I uh, 
want it to be any further outspread. Okay, and then finally, we have this. Now, this is very similar to, um, oh, what do you call it? You know the thing in the, I don't want to call it a tailpipe. I guess it is a tailpipe, the tailpipe of a sink. Under the sink, you got that little lever that you lift it up, and it, you know, pulls the plunger down, and the the stopper in the center of the sink. That's uh, kind of like how this is going to work. Fits in there, and then the nut captivates it. However, I've already had it pop out through the nut, so you can see that there. So if it's not in here properly. then it will pop out. So make sure that that's tight. And of course, when you pull the lever down, it should, as you can see there, pull the suction cup up. Yep. So that's good. That'll work. But you know, I don't care about the accessories, do you? care about this bad boy. But this is just an unboxing. I am not going to hook this up right this second. Uh, I'm going to set the camera up in the other room and uh, try it on a computer first. I've got a computer set up, but it's an older uh, Pentium 4 with only two gigs of RAM and a 1.8 gigahertz processor, single core. Hyper threading, but single core. So um, I don't know if it'll even work. Anyway, this is what we've got. RTLSDR.com, quick start setup guide is uh, on their uh, website. You got the chip set that it's got, the RTL 2832U, R820T2, or 820T2, excuse me. TCXO plus BIOS plus T plus F, HF. Bias T plus HF. I wonder if this thing can transmit. I know some of them are capable. I, this one's probably not. Dipole antenna guide. What do you need to know about a dipole other than it is semi-directional off the beam? Okay, so I'm going to have some reading up to do, but VHF, UHF, I'm okay with that. Um, mainly what I'm wanting to do, I want to see if I can't use it for this to, uh, that's my uh, VV9500 Pro. I'm going to see if I can't use this to make some kind of a makeshift uh, field strength meter. Uh, see if I can't attenuate the signal that it receives somehow, and maybe even uh, try some antenna designs, see how directional they are. me had to take a sip of water there but I'm eager to see how this thing does on a Pentium 4 1.8 gigahertz running Debian Linux and I will certainly report back but until then this has been the unboxing of the RTL SDR and an episode of the Tech Addicts Attic and of course we're 14 minutes long now it wouldn't be an episode of Tech Addicts Attic if I didn't go over 10 minutes right so thank you for watching, thank you for caring, and stay tuned until next time. I'll have a review of this thing when I'm ready. No ETAs. All right, guys, thanks again. Stay tuned.